What's going on everyone? It's your boy Alex. Today we're going to do a GH5 anamorphic post-production workflow tutorial in Adobe Premiere CC 2019. It's going to involve us importing our footage and making proxies out of it. These proxies will allow us to edit way faster than using the traditional footage. So first thing that you're going to want to do is import our footage. You should have it in a footage bin. And as you'll see here, we are mixing frame rates. We have our 60 FPS slow motion stuff and our 23.976 regular speed. So first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is interpret the footage. Make sure it is 23.976 or, or whatever your project frame rate is. Then go down to pixel aspect ratio and make sure it's anamorphic two to one. Click okay. Now we're gonna to wanna to make our proxies. So create proxies. Now I already have a preset made. This doesn't really matter. We're actually gonna make our own preset in Adobe Media Encoder. Make your destination in a proxies bin. So make a new folder, call it proxies. You can put this in your footage or in your project, um, wherever. Then click OK. Now this ships it out to media encoder and this is where the magic happens. This is where we're gonna make an encoding preset and an ingest preset, which will allow us to make our proxies. It's gonna automatically start. No. Actually, turn off auto encode and um, reset everything. Go back into your proxies folder, delete it. You don't need it. Now let's make our preset. Create encoding preset. You want to make the preset name GH5 encoding preset. Format should be QuickTime based on the preset of GoPro Cineform YUV 10 bit. Now, Premiere really likes GoPro Cineform, works really well, super fast, super smooth. Um, it doesn't really like H.264, so if you ever try and import H.264 footage and try and edit on that, Premiere is not a fan. So now you want to scroll down to width and height. Make sure they are not linked. You should make the width 960 and the height 720. Then click encode. Cool, now you're gonna to wanna to make an ingest preset. Call this GH5 proxy ingest. That's my cat, ignore her. You're gonna make the format QuickTime and the preset GH5 encoding preset. And change that to your destination for your proxies. Click OK. Then go over here, interpret the footage to 23.976. And this will make sure that the proxies that you're making are all uh, slowed down in case you did shoot high frame rate. Conform to anamorphic 2 to 1. OK. Then you want to go in and just click OK and make sure that you are using your new preset, GH5 proxy and test. Okay. And start it off. So while you're waiting for it to render, you can change your renderer to a uh, GPU acceleration or software only. I prefer accelerated. Uh, only really use software if there's any encoding problems. Um, on Mac, you'll actually have two options. You have either Metal or OpenCL. Metal is better for um, rendering and encoding, while OpenCL is better for live editing. So I would change it to Metal in order to speed up your exporting. All right, now that that's done, you can minimize it. Check that they're all there. What you can do is now go into your project bin Go to metadata display, type in proxy, and make sure that that's turned on. Traditionally, it's not turned on, so you want to turn it on. And this shows whether your proxies are attached or offline. You can see this one's offline. So we want to go to proxies, attach proxy. Go to our proxies bin. Cool. Now all three are attached make a sequence 
Now you can use one of the clips to make a sequence out of it. And we're good to go. And we can turn on and off our proxy, toggle proxies. If you can't see that button, go to your plus and make sure that's dragged on. Looks like this little ribbon square. And you can rename to GH5, whatever, whatever. You just drag the rest of them on too. So now it will steam through it like nobody's business. But when it's turned off, it's impossible. So that's how you know your proxies are working. If you can scrub through super fast. And that's how you make GH5 proxies and uh, edit with them at lightning speed. Uh, from here, it's just traditional editing. Um, cut as you go, sequence uh, your project. And when you go to export, um, it'll automatically export the original clips instead of the proxy so you don't need to toggle on and off your proxies or do anything else so that's it for today uh, if you have any questions comments or whatever drop them in the comments below love to hear from all of you and yeah see you in the next one peace